Hello and welcome to the Kelxa training video, step one, connect for MYOB. This video is the first in a series of seven designed to help you get up and running with Kelxa. In this video, we'll demonstrate connecting Kelxa Premier to your MyOB accounting file. After installing and activating Kelxa with either a trial or purchase serial number, you'll be prompted with the Kelxa authentication window. Kelxa Premier supports two data source options, However, in this video, we'll be covering a local data file. It is important to ensure when using a local data file that your data is stored on your local machine. For this reason, an SQL server data source should be considered if you plan to have multiple users, expect your fi file to grow quite large, or require automated backups. For more information on SQL server, please contact Kelxa customer support. By default, the user name is administrator with an empty password. You may change this later, but for now, we'll just click the sign in button to continue. Kelxa has recognized that the data source we are connected to does not have any organization data and provides you with three options. Create an organization, connect to another data source, and link to the getting started training videos of which you are watching one now. Since we have already chosen a data source on the previous screen, we'll choose Create Organization. In this video, we are connecting to MyOB. So select the MyOB option and browse to your MYOB file location. You'll need to provide your MYOB username and password. If you wish, you can check the Save Credentials button to remember your username and password for later as you will periodically need to update Kelxa with the latest actuals from MyOB, and this will use a similar process. On this screen, select if you wish to import your MyOB budgets into Kelxa. If you have budgets in your MyOB data file that you'd like to import, click Yes, otherwise click No. Kelxa will then complete the import process. Depending on the size of your accounting file, and if it is accessed over a network, this may take a few minutes. Click Close when completed. As mentioned earlier, you will periodically need to update your organisation to obtain the latest actual data from MYB. To do this, browse to the Organisation Management tab by clicking on the Organisation Management button in the top ribbon. Click the Update button and if you've saved your credentials, the update will proceed. If you've moved or renamed your MyOB file, you may click the Browse button and browse to locate your MyOB file. Also in the organization management page, you can edit the following details. The last month in your financial year, the last actuals period, and the last actuals period is the last full month of actual data. And this will be updated each time you update from MYB. The main budget version allows you to set the default budget version for reporting and editing, and the default one cannot be deleted. You can set a bank overdraft for cash flow reporting and also mark an organization as inactive if you no longer wish to work on that organization. That brings us to the end of step one, connect for MYB. Thanks for watching and the next video in this series is step two, enter your budgets. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact our friendly customer support team. Phone 1800 733 249 or email Help me at kelxa.com. For sales inquiries, please call 1800 733 149 or email tellmemore at kelxa.com.